Good morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer with Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry. Well, here I am. Pastor Matthew and I are in Mundelein, Ohio at St. Mary's on the Lake Seminary. A beautiful, absolutely gorgeous setting. And I wanted you to share with you this beautiful setting. We got here last evening and had a nice dinner at a, at a German restaurant and uh, had a lovely evening. And now we got up early this morning and we had morning prayer with the other pastors. But then I wanted to share morning prayer with you and had this opportunity for you to see the serene setting that is all around us in the beautiful blue sky, if you can see that. I hope I, I can do this and uh, uh, hold this while I'm doing this because I can't find any place to set this to get this beautiful picture. But I just want you to see the calmness and the serenity of this beautiful place. So now let us begin. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth, the heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. O come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is Psalm 7. O Lord my God, I take refuge in you. Save and deliver me from all you who pursue me. Lest like a lion they tear me in pieces and snatch me away with none to deliver me. O Lord my God, if I have done these things, if there is any wickedness in my hands, if I have repaid my friend with evil or, plunge, or plundered me who without cause is my enemy, then let my enemy pursue and overtake me. Trample my life into the ground and lay my honor in the dust. Stand up, O Lord, in your wrath. Rise up against the fury of my enemies. Awake, O my God, decree justice. Let the assembly of the peoples gather round you. Be seated on your lofty throne, O Most High. O Lord, judge the nations. Give judgment for me according to my righteousness, O Lord, and according to my innocence, O Most High. Let the malice of the wicked come to an end, but establish the righteous. For you test the mind and heart, O righteous God. God is my shield and defense. He is the savior of the true in heart. God is a righteous judge. God sits in judgment every day. If they will not repent, God will wet their swords. He will bend his bow and make it ready. He has prepared his weapons of death. He makes his arrow shafts of fire. Those who, whoop, I think I turned two pages here. Look at those who are in labor with wickedness, who conceive evil and give birth to a lie. They dig a pit and make it deep and fall into a hole that they have made. Their malice turns back upon their own head. Their violence falls on their own scalp. I will bear witness that the Lord is righteous. I will praise the name of the Lord most high. Let us pray. Lord God, righteous judge of the nations, you expose us for what we are. Purge us all of, of, of all sin set a firm ground on our thoughts and make us your people because of your of the just one Jesus Christ our Lord Amen well our reading continues in Job now in the 6th and 8th chapters then Job answered oh that my vexation were weighed and all my calamity laid in the balances for then it would be heavier than with sand of the sea Therefore my words have been rash, for the arrows of the Almighty are in me. My spirit drinks their poison, the terrors of God are arrayed against me. Oh, that I might have my request, and that God would grant my desire, that it would please God to crush me, that he would let loose his hands and cut me off. This would be my consolation, I would ever exalt in pain unsparing, for I have not denied the words of the Holy One. What is my strength that I should uh, I should wait? And what is my end that I should be patient? In my strength, the strength of stones, or is my flesh bronze? In truth, I have no help in me, and any, uh, any resource is driven from me. 
he who withholds kingdom from my hands, uh, from my from a friend, forsakes the fear of the Almighty. My brethren are treacherous, as uh, as a torrent a uh, uh, a torrent bed, as as freshets freshets that pass by. Such you have now become to me, and see my calamity and are afraid. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our second reading comes from Acts, the ninth chapter. Now as Peter uh, went here and there among them, and he came down also to the saints that lived in and Lydda. There he found a man named a a Ananias, who had been beridden for eight, uh, eight years and was paralyzed. And Peter said to him, Ananias, Jesus Christ heals you. Rise and make your bed. And immediately he rose. And all the residents of Lydda and Sharon saw him, and they turned to the Lord. Now there was a, in a, there was at Joppa a disciple named Tabitha, which means Dorcas. She was full of good works and acts of charity. In those days she fell sick and died. And when they had washed her, they laid her in the upper room. Since Lydda. Uh, Lida was near Joppa. The, uh, the disciples, hearing that Peter was there, sent two men to him, entreating him, Please come to us without delay. So Peter rose and went to them. And when he came, they took him to the upper room. All the widows uh, stood beside him, weeping and showing tunics and other garments which Doris, Dorcas made while they were with them. But Peter put them out, all outside and knelt down and prayed. And then turning to body, he said, Tabitha, rise. And she opened her eyes, and when he saw Peter, she sat up, and he gave her his hand and lifted her up. Then calling the saints and wi uh, widows, he presented her alive, and he became known throughout all Joppa. And many believed in the Lord, and he stayed in Joppa for many days with one Simon, the, a tanner. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our Holy Gospel comes from St. John, the sixth chapter. Many of his disciples, when he had heard it, said, This is a hard saying. Who can listen to it? But Jesus, knowing in himself that his disciples murmured at it, said to them, Do you take offense at this? Then what if you were to see the Son of Man ascending where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life. The flesh of it is no avail. The words that I have spoken to you are spirit and life. But there are some of you that do not believe. For Jesus knew from the first who those were that did not believe and who it was that would betray him. And he said, this is why I told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted him by the Father. After this, many of his disciples drew back and no longer went after him. Jesus said to the 12, do you also wish to go away? Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life and we have believed and have come to you that you are the Holy One. Jesus answered them, did I not choose you, the 12? And one of you is a devil. He spoke of Judas, the son of Simon is the chariot, for he was one of the twelve, was to betray him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Whoops, sorry. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that your church, being gathered together in unity by your Holy Spirit, may show forth your power among all people, to the glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. 
Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome by any adversity. And all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Well, I hope you have a safe and blessed day. I hope you've enjoyed this beautiful serenity that I'm looking at as I'm doing morning prayer. The singing this morning was absolutely beautiful and get a bunch of pastors together. Um, and it was just a, it's just been a glorious morning today. We're so blessed for our safe travels that we got here all safe. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Um, yeah, I will take you to a different part of campus and show you, maybe, maybe we'll get down to the lake and see the beauty of the lake. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>